Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Snipes Killer here and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. And today guys, we're taking a look on April Fool's Day, April 1st, the day where every YouTuber posts just April Fool's videos for their channel, which you need not worry about coming to my channel, except for this little bit. But yeah, what we're looking at here is the Moon Battle game mode that Wargaming have released on, I believe, all of their servers. And this is the IS-8 ball, pretty much pool table little game mode here, where you can see that corners of the map have little pockets in them with lava. That is the main way to take out your enemy tanks. Now, the other way you could do it is by using your guns, which takes a long time. Considering Wargaming have classified this tank as a tier 1, and it only gets like 30 damage per shot. You're not going to be taking anybody out very quickly with your guns, but their most main use is for knocking people around. They do a huge kickback on enemy tanks whenever you hit them. Which is very nice, considering you got only, I believe, 3 or 4 minutes to complete this game mode before it's either a draw or a defeat, but you need not worry about that too, too much. It doesn't affect any of your win rates or anything. It's kind of just like a fun little game mode. Now we're going to be talking a little bit about it and why they might have chosen to incorporate these kind of designs and maybe even this tank into it. So pretty much right here, the map design is a pool table. Each little corner has all these lava pits in it, which I said again are your main ways to kill your enemy tanks. It's also got these little jump spots in it, nice and symmetrical on each side with a giant main one in the middle that you can use to just jump around and I believe the gravity is kind of lighter in this game mode too as you can see this little IS-8 ball flying in the air so it's kind of, your tank is a little uncontrollable but at the same time you can still control it pretty decently with this little ball shape on it. You can roll around a lot, you can do these little turns like they've incorporated with the physics, which helps you turn very quickly to be able to engage your enemies again. And as well, they've also incorporated these little game events, these random events. There are, I believe, three of them. One of them is pretty much just a joke one that doesn't do anything. One of them is a meteor shower, and one is an impulse little push that gets each tank pushed around on the battlefield, which we'll be seeing a little bit later. As well, Wargaming have also incorporated this little space battle in the background. It isn't actually, it's a really nice space battle. I like it. Sometimes you'll see this laser shoot across at a enemy ship with a nice shield that pops up. And then, of course, the tank. It's a little bit of a ball design, probably used because there's lower gravity on this map and you can flip pretty easily, as we can see here as I go flying and here comes an impulse push that pushes all the tanks and unfortunately I got pushed right into the lava here which means game over so yeah this is the new game mode April Fools game mode that Wargaming have introduced and <laughs> this little ISA bolt is stuck here this is what they have introduced feel free to log in get that little bit of a lengthy download over with and be able to check out this game mode have a few rounds in it have as many rounds as you want and have fun with it but thank you guys so much for watching it has been pretty nice checking out this game mode here by wargaming and i hope to see you guys in another video so take care and have a great day Bye bye